Well, as many Minnesotans prepare for holiday festivities, some may be struggling to put out a full dinner and gifts for their families. Second Harvest Food Bank is hoping to eliminate some of that stress this time of the year. Mel Meyer has more from Grand Rapids. It's the second day of food and gift bag distribution for the annual Itasca holiday program in Grand Rapids. Second Harvest is providing holiday food items like sweet potatoes, stuffing, and fruit, along with grocery vouchers for nearly 1,800 Itasca County families. For families with kids from 1 to 12 years old, they're also receiving brand new toys. Well, they can come to one place and get a food box and get gifts for their children, and they don't have to go from place to place to find out who's giving out Christmas things. The food bank will be providing the food and gifts at eight different locations to make it more convenient for the people it serves. Grand Rapids has seen the most need, with 900 families benefiting from the multi-day event. So it's really a great way for the community to come together um, help their neighbors and make sure that everyone in our community has a decent holiday. The food bank has been gathering new toys since Thanksgiving. One of the families lending a helping hand are the Haybisons. Jaden donated all of her birthday and Christmas gifts to the cause last year. I was bringing my toys here to give to the other children and we heard about it and we wanted to help out. Jared Haybison says the old adage is true. You get more out of giving than you do receiving and it's definitely the case. It's, it's a lot of fun to, to help out and makes you appreciate what you have. Second Harvest will be distributing the food boxes on Wednesday and Thursday and will be giving out the gift bags again on Thursday. In Grand Rapids, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. Second Harvest says it could use additional monetary donations to help pay for the food boxes. More information on how you can help can be found at our website lptv.org backslash news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.